I'm a bit late. But hey guys, Zero here, and today I got my best card from each of the 32 NHL teams. Been doing this for the past five years. I'm a bit late this year, usually I do it in August. That being said, I need to point out a couple of things. How I do these every year for the cards, whatever the team is on the card, is what the team is gonna be for that player. So if a larger player has been traded or free agent signing, let's say a Johnny Goodrow, and I have a rookie auto of him, that'll still be a Calgary card. I'll just use that as an example. It wouldn't be a Columbus card, it'd be a Calgary card. Second, there will be value on most of these. That's why it took me so long to get this video up. Is my personal device of this was showing value but there will be values on here and finally for several teams i had to make an executive decision on which player gets the number one spot because with some teams there are several cards in the same price range and i had to make the executive decision including this team anaheim ducks and this card's the mighty ducks but for anaheim we got the ryan Getzlaff future watch on john gibson and troy terry are actually in the same vicinity but i decided to pick Getzlaff as his stuff this past year did get a bomb because of his retirement he's now retired i've had this card for quite a long time now but there you go the mighty ducks or the ducks ryan Getzlaff. next up for the coyotes so brandon perlini 16 17 the cup exquisite shield 101 i have both a perlini shields from the cup not a great name but it's a really nice card there 101 shield there so these are subjective if they're 101s but there you go there's perlini i think he's still a ufa or something but there you go and also i should point out i will be cheating for a few teams here including this team <sighs> Firmly. Frick right off, Brad. The reason why I'm cheating with Brad here, this cop RPA of Brad, dang, is I'm sending this card to J-Max. Don't know, J-Max is a supporter of mine. He's a Bruins fan. He sent me a couple of really nice packages, including dang, this really nice Gretzky here. So my next wave of packages will probably be sometime in November, late November. And I'll be sending this J-Max way. It's a Brad Cup RPA. He's a Bruins fan. This is just an ultimate, like, troll card. As a Leafs fan, this is just like, Ugh. what the heck is this? <laughs> Can rat cup RPA. It's a really nice card. But there you go. Brad cup RPA. Next up, Buffalo. Even though he's on Vegas now. Jack Eichel. Future watch auto. I don't think Owen Power is going to surpass Eichel there. And that's another thing. If I'm not keeping the cards in the collection, I will sell them. Did sell the Paterka. Kind of regret that. Not clear cut. But there you go. Eichel. Future watch auto. Little top one for the Buffalo Sabres. Next up for the Calgary Flames. Even though he's on Florida. Get the Matthew Kachuk. Future watch auto. His stuff is more than Goudreau's, which is interesting. But he's on Florida now. That big trade. I got a lot of future watch autos in here. There's Matthew Kachuk. Speaking of future watch autos for the Carolina Hurricanes, Andre Svetch. Still holding off Sebastian Ajo. He's had a pretty strong start to the season there, but there's a Svechikov feature watch. I pulled this way back when. Most of these cards I bought, some of these I pulled, but this one I pulled back in 2019. So there's a Svechikov feature watch auto. Next up for the Chicago Blackhawks. Very nice card here. Really would love to get a cup RP of this guy. We'll see where he goes. Trade deadline. But we get a Patrick Kane 708 feature watch auto BGS9. Really clean feature watch. These ones have notorious edge problems and corner problems with that red there, but this one's really clean there. Nice bold auto. Love this card. I have three of these. Almost had four but i let my brother get one last expo but there you go patrick kane future watch auto top spot for chicago next up colorado this has been on ebay for like seven months pretty much we got a nathan mckinnon 1314 national treasure rpa to 99 sick patch there yeah this one's for sale on ebay right now for seven or best offer the frustrating part about that is a lesser patch i'm probably not gonna be able to find it's too late now but a lesser patch to this card went for like 7 800 canadian 6 000 us and i can't get anywhere near that with a better patch but whatever you know it is what it is uh, still really nice card one of the best players in the league right there nathan mckinnon Kinnon, National Treasures RPA. Next up for the Jackets, this is a cool card here. Got this card from Andrew. The face of the franchise for the better part of a decade between like 2002 and mid 2010s there. Rick Nash, Future Watch Auto from 0203. So cool one there. Don't have that Wierenski Ice Premiers patch anymore. Got the Rick Nash here. I'm pretty sure this is the top one. It should be right, but there you go. Rick Nash, Future Watch Auto. Next up for the Dallas Stars. Not Mira Haskinen anymore, even though I have more Haskinen cards now, but it's my Jason Robertson, Future Watch Auto. So I pulled three of these. I have a nice clear cut auto of him. That's not worth as much as this. Hopefully next year I'll have an even nicer Robertson, but for now, just a regular Future Watch Auto. So there's Dallas. Next up, Detroit. Have a new player for Detroit here. Decided to go with this over Larkin. It's a Henrik Zetterberg Future Watch Auto. Now, this one's not mint for sure. Another card I got from Andrew there, but not a mint card. Still a really nice one there. Decided to put Zetterberg there over Larkin. They're pretty close in value. I think Zetterberg's a bit more, but definitely more if the card's in better shape. But there you go. Zetterberg Future Watch Auto for Detroit. Next up for the Oilers, and ugh, really, it should be this card here, but went with the Connor. Connor McDavid, Future Watch Auto, 1516. 0.5 Heartbreaker off the gem. Uh, over this platinum rookie out of 15. This should be number one, right? But the grade is what Choo choose this card. I think I'll probably be able to get a PSA 8 out of this, but I'll just leave it in here for now. It's pretty much a mint card without it, which is a complete lie if you watch any videos on this card. But we'll go with the McDavid once again. Yeah, big card here. 0.5 off. Dang it, that'll bother me. But there you go, McDavid, Future Watch Auto, or Edmonton. Except for the Panthers, we got Alexander Barkov, Future Watch Auto. Enough Future Watch Auto. 
shots here, but there you go. Great player there. Need to watch out. 13 14. There's actually several 13 14s in here, but there you go. There's Barkov for the Panthers. Next up for the Kings, and no change here. We got Aj Kopitar, future watch auto. Mainly because there hasn't really been a whole lot of 21 22 products to hunt Byfield, but there you go. Kopitar, future watch auto to 999 there. Future Hall of Famer. Very cool one there. Next up is the Minnesota Wild. I am cheating for this one as well. As my second best card falls off a crater, but we got a Kirill Kaprizov. PMG, the red PMG to 100 there. 490, I mean the first 10 are green, but there you go. Kirill Kaprizov, precious metal gems, rookie there. This is Andrew's card. I'll be sending it his way pretty soon, so Kaprizov, PMG. Might as well put it here instead of like an Erickson Eck Future Watch. Nice flashy card there, so there you go. Kaprizov. Next up for the Habs, this one was really close. Got a Carey Price, Future Watch Auto. Nick Suzuki's right on his tail, but there you go. There's Carey Price. For most of these decisions, I usually pick the more established player to take the spot, but there you go. There's Carey Price. Will he play again? I don't know, but really glad to have the Future Watch Auto of Carey Price. Another card I got from Andrew. Dang. All right, for Nashville, last year I had Seth Jones. What the heck? But this year, yeah, that's what makes sense. Philip Forsberg, Future Watch Auto. There you go. There's Forsberg signed long term with the Preds. Great player there. So he'll probably hold this number one spot for a long time. I don't anticipate getting a Tomasino card worth more than this. Maybe I do, but we shall see. Next up for the Devils, don't see this change anytime soon either. Get the Jack Hughes, Future Watch Auto. Great player, but I feel that's probably pretty high for this card. Hold this card way back when. It's my only large Future Watch Auto pull from 1920, pretty much. But there you go, Jack Hughes, Future Watch Auto. For the Islanders, there's between this, Tavares, and Sorokin, but give the nod to Matt Barzell. He beats out those two a little bit, but... <laughs> future Watch Auto. There you go for the Islanders. 16, 17. Nice card there. I have a crap ton of Future Watch Autos, dang it. If you want to see but with a twist, where I actually have variety, let me know, I'll do it. But for the Rangers, we got Alexi Lafreniere, Future Watch Auto. Actually has some competition with the Rangers. Now I got Adam Fox, Henrik Lundqvist, but Lafreniere takes the number one spot. Pulled this card this past summer. Glad I pulled this one. Yeah, there you go. Lafreniere, Future Watch Auto. Nice. Next up for the Sens, got Tim Stutzla, Future Future Watch Auto. This is the inscribed 115 2021. So that's a really nice one there for the Sens. Definitely an improvement of last year's. I forget what I had last year's, but might have been like Eric Carlson Future Watch. But there you go, Tim Stutzla, Future Watch Auto inscribed. Purchased this one a few months back, so there you go. Next up, no change. I actually have a couple of these. The inscribes. Carter Hart, Future Watch Auto inscribed. So he's had a strong start to the year for 22 23. It's been a bit of a rough going for him, but still young goaltender there. Still has a bright future. There's the inscribed 17 of 999 for Carter Hart there. Future Watch Auto inscribed. I have too many Future Watch. Oh, dang it. And perhaps none better than this one here. We got the Sidney Crosby Future Watch Auto for the Pittsburgh Penguins. So this is a BGS 9.5. It's min gem. Unfortunately, service has a 9. Everything else is 9.5. 10 auto there. There you go. The Sid Future Watch Auto. There's kind of a trend with me in purchasing expensive cards. I kind of don't stray away from the four in the back there. I'm not going to lie, but there you go. Sid Future Watch Auto. One of the pillars in my collection there. Next up for the Sharks, I think I had like a Heatley Duel Auto last year, but Timo Meyer, he deserves it. Future Watch Auto. I'm surprised Hurdle really doesn't go for much, but there you go Kimo Meyer. Maybe it'll be like an Eklund or Bartolo card. I'll surpass this in a year's time, but we shall see. There you go. Timo Meyer. Future Watch Auto takes the top spot this year. Next up for CL Kraken. Actually have a CL card. Nothing special though, but we got this Jordan Eberle. QD Canvas Black. Ooh. So I have a crap ton of canvas cards, and this Jordan Eberle is one of them. And it takes the top spot for CL until I pull like a Matty Beneers or Shane Wright card from the 22-23 products. But there you go. QD Canvas of Eberle for Seattle. Next up for the Blues. Tarasenko was last year. This is finally taking the spot. I know Kairu and Tom Thomas are both the head of Tarasenko also. But this Alex Petrangelo, 0809 Future Watch Auto, BGS 9.5, True Gem, takes the top spot. So obviously he's on Vegas now, one of the better defensemen in the league for the past decade plus. One of the top defensemen, I would say. But there you go, 809 Future Watch Auto, Petrangelo. Love that card there. And the third card I'm cheating on. This is the final card I'm cheating on. <laughs> this is going to Greg. Go check out that video. Why he's getting this card. I don't want to give it up, but he did me a solid. He's a good supporter. This card will be on the other side of the planet. He'll be in New Zealand in a couple months' time. Got this on. Andre Vasilevsky, up RPA to 249. Dang it. Well, the stamp close future watch will be in here next year, but I'll just put the Vasilevsky here while I still have it. So there you go. Sick card there. And for the Leafs, big change here. Dang. Ah, there you go. Got the Austin Matthews, up RPA to 99. Top card in the collection there. Got Choo Choo'd on the grade there for the autographs. Is it just me or Beckett's been harsher on the auto grades as of late? I've seen a lot of nines and eights, but there you go. Austin Matthews, cup RPA. That shouldn't be an eight auto. I've seen far worse eight autos. And and uh, that's going to stick with me. But oh, 8.5, decent grade for a thick stock card there. Obviously, this is a freaking big card. This is like the only card that has like a real presence to it, you know? I'm always like, dang, look at that. There you go, Austin Matthews Cup RPA. Vile card. Next up for the Canucks, this is going to be the same card for the next 20 years, probably. <laughs> Leah's Pedersen, Future Watch Auto, EGS 9.5. I have several supporters that are looking for Canucks cards. And it doesn't seem like I'll ever get a better card than this for the Canucks. So it's a min gem, corner to nine there. But still, Leah's Pedersen, Future Watch Auto. Yikes to the Canucks. They need to win a game. As of this recording,
don't even have one yet, but there you go. Canucks, another future watch. I should do, but with a twist. Next up for Vegas, it was between this Alex Tuck and Cody Glass. Cody Glass was last year. He's on Nashville now, but decided to go with this. The guy they literally did this to. Mark andre Fleury. 1920. The 99-2000 retro there, I'm pretty sure. Sign of the Times autograph. So that's a cool one there. Mark andre Fleury. On card auto there. 1920 SBA. Very cool card there. All right, we're coming down to it. Another huge card in the collection. For the caps, got an OV. Future watch auto. PSA 9. Bought this back in 2020. Huge accomplishment way back when. Awesome card there. I definitely should grade more with PSA there, but there you go. Ovechkin, PSA 9, Future Watch Auto. Definitely the holder it should be in right there. Great card there. And the final card for the Jets. This one's frustrating. I always think it's going to be Kyle Connor, but, or even Mark Shifley. It's Patrick Line still. Future Watch Auto. I mean, the star power is there. He gets injured a lot. Maybe consistency might not be there. For the Jackets, he's on Columbus now, but there's a Line A Future Watch Auto to finish off my best card from the 32 NHL teams. So yeah, guys, there you go. There's my best cards from the 32 NHL teams. Not sure if I'm going to do but with a twist. It might take me seven hours to figure out what my best Montreal Canadian card. Well, actually, that wouldn't take long. Probably be my carry price. Guys. But some teams will be really deep cuts like Minnesota there. Like, I might have like a Danny Heatley card, maybe. It's like, if you want to see the butt with a twist, let me know. Probably going to do a top 25 earlier this year. So stay tuned for that. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later.